Hi everyone. Um, look, uh, Chad and I just uh, just had a bit of a chat on the phone. We thought we'd record this video and uh, and post it uh, to YouTube and also to our Facebook pages, the All Auto Recalls Facebook page, and wherever else we can. Um, we've just had another alert come through about uh, another recall uh, from the Toyota brand. You know, we saw one yesterday. Um, it was for Lexus. You know, there were six thousand odds or six thousand six hundred of Lexus vehicles between two thousand and thirteen and. 2019 that Lexus recalled for faulty fuel pumps. The fuel pumps can stop working. Um, and, you know, that's an issue. I mean, whether it's one or 6,000 is a problem. We just had another one just come through now, which was pretty alarming and concerning. It's the same problem. It's a, it's a faulty fuel pump, but it's on 45 odd thousand or more than 45,000 Toyota vehicles. Um, Corolla, Camry, Hilux, Kluger, Land Cruiser, and so forth. Uh, from the 2013 to 2019 model. So it, it sort of made a lot of sense to me that, well, straight away, we're wrecking all those vehicles. Our industry is actually buying that salvage as we speak and taking parts off and probably selling some of this product, whether it be to mechanics or on, on eBay and so forth. So I thought I'd get on, on a call with Chad and see if we can have a bit of a chat around uh, what we're doing, what Chad's doing, you know, from a recall perspective in Australia to help users and, and be aware of this internationally as well, what you need to be doing as well. So Chad, do you want to talk to us a little bit about, you know, what you're doing with, with automated recyclers at the well, minute to support we, them? We all know that selling a recall part is against the law. There's compulsory laws related to selling recall parts. You absolutely cannot do it. The question becomes, how does a recycler know for sure how to identify that recall part so that he does not unsuspect unwillingly unknowingly sell a part to a unsuspecting customer and all auto recalls has partnered with pinnacle to offer a service as you create the mvr inside the pinnacle system you actually can be alerted to a recall that may exist in that car so the fuel pump uh, would be a perfect example it would be identified as a recall on that vehicle so you would know for sure not to inventory and try to sell that fuel pump um, if you're if you don't have a pinnacle system you could be a subscriber to the all auto recall system and put the VIN in during your intake process and and then it would alert you to the, the recalls that would exist for that vehicle and you could be aware of it and not sell that part to an unsuspecting client also if you're a, a member of all auto recalls uh, and you have run that VIN through our system in the past and the recall came out today, you would get an alert that says this recall has occurred and you could remove that part from your inventory or if you have sold it, you could reach out to who you've sold it to and say, listen, this part is now recalled, you need to go to the dealer and get it uh, replaced. And so those are some options that we have at All Auto Recalls to make everything work a little smoother. Uh, does that answer your question, Chris? Yeah, look, thanks, Chad. I think, that, I think that's really important, right? Um, you know, we're all talking about Takata airbags and you know, obviously that's topical and Potentially, that's where uh, people can, can make some money as well at the minute because they get reimbursed by the manufacturers uh, for those. Um, and we're certainly helping a lot of recyclers with that. And we're, we're growing in that area there as well. But general recalls, I think, are really critical. I mean, these fuel pumps, you know, you sell one of these fuel pumps, they stop working on the freeway, they stop working as you're driving through a, an intersection and your car stops. I mean, ultimately, if your car stops, you lose power, your steering wheel locks, you lock up at 100 kilometers an hour on the freeway and it's, you know, it could be disastrous. So I think our industry, Chad, is, is in a position, we mentioned it on the call this morning, uh, the, the podcast this morning. Um, I think our industry needs to step up and, and, and sort of take some control of this type of stuff. And I think if, uh, if anyone's got any questions, uh, they can contact Chad, absolutely, at uh, chadc at cdps.com.au. Um, get onto product safety, the ACCC website, and have a look at what's happening there. Um, we'd be happy to talk to you as to what, you know, what a lot of recalls can do. Other yard management systems that uh, don't have an API with us at the minute, happy to work with them and, and find ways of uh, supporting their users as well. At the end of the day, we need to make uh, recycled parts, recycled original equipment parts safe. Um, we need to make sure that the consumer, whether that be, you know, a mechanic and consumer that's, you know, a private buyer off eBay or, or an insurance company for that matter, we want to make them comfortable that using our product is, um, is good and is safe and, uh, even if we don't know about the recall today, we've got an opportunity to, to talk to them about that recall at some point in time in the future, if we're made aware of it. So um, hope that helps everyone. If you've got any questions, as I said, you can contact either Chad or myself. Uh, Chad, any closing comments before we uh, leave off? 
we're all in this together. And there's, if there's anything that we can do to help you, reach out to me. You got my email address. Chris just shared it. Uh, if we need to tweak our system a little bit to work with you in a different way or a different uh, yard management system that you're running, just let me know. We'll do anything we can. Appreciate you. Thanks, Chad. Thanks, everyone. And uh, hopefully uh, look out for those uh, fuel pumps. We'll talk soon. Cheers. Bye.